Hi, I'm Bry Cox with BryCoxWorkshops.com. Uh, for this week, I just want to share some of the podcasts and books that I read, not only currently, but things specifically this month. So there's some podcasts I listen to daily, uh, but there's also some books that I've been reading this month very specifically. I thought I'd just share those. And then maybe every month or so, I'll you know, keep you up to date on more books that I am liking at the time. All right, so as far as podcasts go, um, there's two I subscribe to and uh, they actually pay money for uh, because there are radio shows I really like, but it just saves me all of the time of one, trying to catch it on the air and two, having to listen to all the commercials. Uh, most of the time I'm either in a shoot or I'm busy or whatever, but this way I can listen to them as I'm getting ready in the morning, showering, exercising, um, eating. There's a lot of time when I'm just, maybe it's like really quiet and empty, maybe I'm retouching. I put on one of these podcasts and throughout the day, you know, maybe I listen to more some days, less some days, and then by the end of the week, I'm caught up on all of these. So, okay, some of my favorites, uh, and I'll list them here too and, and write them below. But one is Michael Medved, uh, who's a, a political talk show. And what I like about him is that um, he's conservative, but he doesn't get mad at anybody, and he only takes disagreement calls. So every single call he takes, he starts off the hour with a thesis, this is my position, and, and if you disagree, call me, and he spends the whole rest of the hour persuading and so I feel like I get a really good balance of all these people that disagree and then his job is to just be kind and persuade where I feel like a lot of times in politics people get angry and they're mad and they want to be divisive and it's a war it's like no we're Americans we're all on the same side it's like how can we persuade everybody so I'm a big fan of his and in fact these aren't necessarily books I've read this month but I I recommend all of his books here's just some of them I have 10 Big Lies About America, 5 Big Lies About American Business, Hollywood versus America, and Right Turns. And I also have all of his history programs, and I listen to those all the time. There's like History of Christmas, History of Thanksgiving, you know, Lincoln, um, various wars, and they're all like two or three hours, you know, Reagan, things like that. There's so a lot of great uh, audio programs that he sells, but all of these are great, just good solid info. Uh, the other one I like, uh, so that'd be my number one that I always catch. The number two, I catch almost all of it every week, but not all of it. I kind of, sometimes all of it, but it's, it's my number two. And that is uh, Dennis Prager. And I'm actually reading his book this month, Happiness is a Serious Problem. And what I like about it is it just makes the point that we have a moral obligation to be happy. There's a lot of times I don't know, I get this feeling when I'm at conventions. There's, all, there's a lot of various feelings with photographers, and particularly in business, the people are like, well, when I... <laughs> it's like the actions follow the feeling. When I feel happy, then I'll be happy, right? But right now, you just understand, it's hard in my business, it's hard in my town, and there's always this kind of this negative attitude. And he makes the point that really on everything in life, feelings precede action. If you act happy, or rather, I mean, act, if I act happy, I will feel happy, right? If, like, if you're married, I'm not married, so I can't really say on this, but if you act in love, you're going to be in love, more in love, and rather than other people saying, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to treat my husband or wife that way because I don't feel it today. So anyway, that's a great book. Happiness is a Serious Problem. That's one of the books I'm reading this month. This is a book I read this month. I don't have it because I lent it to a friend that I, but here's the cover. It's Punch Fear in the Face, Escape Average Work, Do Work That Matters, Start. So it's an old book I've actually read a few times, but I reread it this month because I was recommending it to a friend. And this is a, just a completely random book that I read this month, but I really like it. It's called Left of Bang, and it's basically a Marine Corps kind of handbook on being more observant of your surroundings and avoiding situations, problems, you know, and rather than getting in a situation, it's how to avoid it before it even starts. It's a really interesting just, and what I like about it as a photographer is I think we're people watchers. And the idea is we're always trying to read our clients, you know, understand the kids that come in. How can I connect with this kid? And this takes kind of that reading people to a more of a, a big kind of a, a room, a social level. If you're walking through a city or down a street, you know, reading reading really the situation based on people. So I really like that for that reason. And then just another book that I read a while back, but rereading is How to Improve Your Marriage Without Talking About It. 
I'm not married. <laughs> but I like this because, uh, I don't know, it seems like all the dating relationship books are about how men are wrong and men need to step it up and communicate better. And I feel like this is a nice balance of how men and women need to work together. So anyway, I'll, those are the books this month. Um, any other podcasts that I like? I think those are the main two. Anyway, those and then audiobooks really I'm usually throwing in. Hope that helps you. Maybe give you some ideas. Maybe you completely disagree with everything I just said. Totally fine. Let me know. Or if there's something you like, let me know. Uh, but my big belief is to constantly be reading something, constantly be learning something. Uh, we get this constant negative feelings from news, right? It's all about dysfunction. What's different? That's what news is about. Let's got to startle you. <laughs> and it's always the same thing. Look at how bad the world is. When, when you're reading a lot of this stuff, you start to realize, you know what, the world actually is kind of the best it's ever been. And it, make, it makes you a lot more positive, and I think that's really helpful in your business. Okay, I got full courses on my website, brycoxworkshops.com, lighting, posing, digital workflow, everything. Check it out and send me any questions you have, uh, brycoxworkshops.com. All right, until next time, America. <laughs>